Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Brian the Divine Healer here with you. That's right, up and at them, ready to go, bright and early. Just for you guys, you know what I'm saying? So, welcome to the channel. Come on in, grab your coffee. Let's get hot on your readings. So, I was able to finish off all the, uh, you know, end of February readings. So, here I am. Getting ready to do a little early preview of the beginning of March. That's right. I don't know what I'm going to call the playlist yet. Uh, I have a few ideas, but I'll let you guys know. Uh, well, you'll basically figure it out when I post it. <laughs> so let's get into reading, right? We know who's up first, right? But before this, Divine Squad, my little subscribers, thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. I love it. Okay. So, Aries Taurus, welcome. You guys are the, the noobs. If you haven't uh, hit my channel yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, become part of the Divine Family. Appreciate that. So, we're going to do Aries Taurus Cusp, right? If your birthday was April 16th through the 22nd, you're a part of the Cusp of Power. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's powerful today. So, I got Mike here, right? Mike. And I got to get Matt because it's early, right? And I'm going to pound these cards on the table, right? wake up my neighbors and piss them all off so let's get into your reading let's find out what's going on with y'all today because the energy is for now not in the present i mean <laughs> it is for the present not for the past nor the future okay though some cards might come out as a past event or future situation it's now right okay so that's what that is basically oh and welcome to 222 22 right february 22nd 2022 welcome to that mm. okay some strong energy going on with all that so <clears throat> let me shuffle these up here and let's get into your reading find out what's going on with y'all today <clears throat> give it one more and we'll get right into it. Hey, how's that happen? All right. Maybe one more, okay? Because that was kind of a, a fail. <laughs> it's early. Got my coffee. You got your feet up? You got your coffee? Okay, good. Me too. This is, this is my first deck ever I use, so it's kind of beat and worn. You know what I'm saying? But let's get into your reading. Here we go. Here's your first card. Well, the Knight of Cups. Yeah. Looks like you're taking off somewhere. You're taking some action. Ooh, action Jackson, huh? Right. So let's let's get the other card here. This is. This is definitely your energy, but um, you want to hmm, you want to move towards something. You want to uh, show some love, or just your emotions, right? Maybe you're just uh, emotionally taking some action. Oh yes, okay. So here we go. Seven of Pentacles. That's uh, investing, right? So what you're doing is investing in yourself emotionally. Mm, you're taking that action. Hey, that's really good, right? So, nights are about action, cups is your emotions, right? So, you're taking action in your emotions to invest in yourself. Claire's day, what can I say? <clears throat> okay, so that's your energy now. Let's get into the first card of your story, and we'll bust a move and see what's going on with all this. The whys, the hows, you know, I think you get it. <laughs> <coughs> Well, now, investing in yourself seems a little bit, you know, something like you need to do. But here is you want to make an investment of love and taking action to that because you want to celebrate. You want to be happy. You want marriage, family. You know what I mean? Wow. That's a hit. Okay. I like that. Mm-hmm. You want to invest in some kind of family situation, right? 
but that's really the marriage card too so very interesting Aries Taurus cuspers okay we'll take that well there's like seven cards but I have to take them because they all kind of fell out so Bob's the top top is the bottom that's where it's all coming from you want to invest in your divine partner right the investment the taking action to present some love offer emotional right that uh towards your your divine counterpart who you see as your 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 other half your family your your bride or your husband you know husband however you're gonna say that groom here's your next card oh slow it down slow it down how did that come out bottom to the top tops the bottom mm. okay so you're a little sassy right you're a little mm, you're fired up right fired up knight of wands a little sassy right sassy is in the action that you're taking is very determined you're very um passionate about it you you are um well you know 18 and under you gotta beat it that means leave the channel <laughs> because with the nine of wands beat it right that's it's like a little horny that's a little mm, spicy right you're spicy towards your divine counterpart who you see as your one and only right see it as your bride or your groom there you go leo energy strength did i just call a sign oh yeah noobs i don't really do that but sometimes i do Okay. I also don't read reversals, right? So there you go. Strength. So you are displaying some kind of strength on taking this action who you really have a lot of fiery passionate for uh, this counterpart of yours, which is a, a divine counterpart, by the way. Cause you have the, the family card here. So. You know, you want to celebrate this, right? You want to join forces and look at this. Whoa, shit. That was your last card that fell out. Ten of Cups. This is your wish fulfillment, right? This is this is what it's going to take for you to be completely um, emotionally abundant in love, true love, uh, one love. You know what I mean? And so this is where this is at. Holy crap. Welcome to 222. 22. <laughs> it's a new year. It should be a new you. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep going here with this. This is fantastic. This is like one of the best Aries readings I've had so far. I've done a lot of them. Okay, let's get on this. Let's get on this. Oh, no. <laughs> Looks like you want to get on it with the Ace of Wands over there. Okay, so let's go. You got two Knights on the table. Okay, so you have now the Six of Swords. So, what this is saying here is with the Ten of Cups is... The Ten of Cups and the Six of Swords is... Um, you need to be a little, you know, patient, okay? Have a little patience. Sixes represent perseverance swords is your mind it's your communication as well but this is a smooth and steady course right so to attain your ten of cups you're gonna have to have a little strength and in, in, in maybe toning down your uh passion with this knight of wands energy towards your divine counterpart for this marriage celebration because investing in this offer is what you need to do because typically this knight of cups here is like it's like a false offer because there's nothing in that cup it's empty right no emotions right so this is just like flirting this is like kind of a player energy right but since you have the seven of pentacles this is an investment so you are now um investing in your emotions basically filling this cup to not present it as a empty offer false hope player kind of energy this is really now you're investing in this because you want that um 
that union for that family, the, the, the marriage, you know, with your divine counterpart who actually totally gives you a boner, right? You're so hot pants for these people, this person, <laughs> right? So have a little strength in maybe toning that down, toning it down just a tiny bit, taming that passion, taming that passion for your Ten of Cups, which, you know, will kind of just cruise in once you are established in that patience okay how's that it might be a short one because this is kind of coming out quick so I, I really can't help that i don't need to linger on things because it's just pretty pretty straightforward so there you go okay so you're worried about this being um a smooth well say transition even though you're not trans well you kind of are transitioning and from being this knight of cups to you know seven of pentacles investing in the offer that you want to present right so you're a little anxious you're a little worried here with the nine of swords you're kind of um stressed maybe up at night you can't sleep something like that right and you're worried about this being a smooth um steady course ahead right you're worried if this is going to take off basically <laughs> okay let's get the next card you're wondering if this is going to take off because it's someone from your past six of cups yeah or maybe you're worried about the past right you have a little anxiety it um, it's a past person that you're worried about this is going to be smooth right smooth to get your Ten of Cups, your love, right? Because the, the, with the six of um, with the six of Cups here, that's nostalgia. That's uh, thinking about the past, really feeling about the past, having emotions that um, you know make you happy and you know elated, and you're just really in that um, lovey dovey feeling, right? So this is what you're worried about. You're worried about this person in the past. Maybe you're worried about if they feel the same way. Um, worried about if they if they have the same memories as you do for them something like that okay this is juicy juicy okay so let's pull another card here and get some more definition on the six of cups here let's follow the story the story is this person's the king of pentacles to you right so this person is very stable they're very grounded they're i mean Kings run empires, right? So with the pentacles is stability, basically, in short. So this person has got their shit together. Yeah. They're also in of a family um, mentality. So, you know, they're... They're very much got a lot of things going on that are positive for them, okay? And so this is how you're, you're seeing them as the king of pentacles. Stable, abundant, grounded, intelligent. You know what I mean? So... Because you got to be intelligent if you're a king to run an empire. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So here comes your next card. <sighs> Wham. Wow. We got three knights on the board. Three knights. That's kind of significant because this is all about you, my friends, taking action. Remember I talked about... Having a little patience with this because the six of swords, sixes represent per perseverance. Perseverance really equals patience, right? So now we're going to bring it over here to the Knight of Pentacles, which is slow and steady wins the race. So this offer that you, because you're going to take action because this is all your reading, action, action, action. You're taking action with your emotions. You're taking action with your passions. And now you're taking action towards this stability. So you seems like you have found your patience. You have really reflected on the past of um, maybe letting go of the worries and anxieties that you were building up for yourself into actually starting to move and take this action towards what you want which is the wish fulfillment for your lover and, you know, re, uh, uh, reunite. Well, I maybe said reunite because we got the Six of Cups out here as a past person reflecting on the past, okay? Nostalgia. Hmm. We're going to see because we're getting close to the end here. We got two more cards to finish the story, and then I'll pull two more cards for the outcome, and that will be your 
grand finale, okay? So let's get that going. Bam. Okay. Devil card. I'm going to clarify that and pull the next card. Because I don't really see other than... A potential to manipulate yourself because it is going to take a little bit of patience that you are now trying to build up to get over this anxiety shit um, and wanting to present this offer, okay? And so it could be the manipulation of yourself, which would be self-sabotage and waiting because Aries really can't wait for shit. Okay, they can't. They're just like, pshow, 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 right? Basically. Meaning they're very driven. They're very, um, you know, out there. They're very, uh, I wouldn't say eclectic, but, you know, they're very in your face. Okay, high energy. <laughs> okay, so let me pull this next card and we're going to find this out, which will be the last card of your story. Okay, what is this devil card going to be doing? Yeah, okay. It's like... The self-sabotage could be that you are impatient and you just like, you know what, if it's not going to come now, then I'm just going to stay single because it's never coming, right? That's part of that self-sabotage here now combined with this nine of pentacles. So you could be self-sabotaging yourself because of your patience because the nine of pentacles is underneath the six of six of swords and the devil card is underneath the ten of cups so the patience of this slow and steadiness could um really manipulate your own self into sabotaging this and staying single right thinking you can do it without them you don't need them because it's not coming when you want it to and that's kind of where this knight of wands is it's like fast it's fiery it's like blazing hot passion right and this is action that you you want to take towards them so mm, slow it down a little bit my friends slow it down okay that's the story my friends it's short and sweet to the point here we come with the outcome and then uh, you can go on your merry day but when you're out there tell everybody about my channel i really appreciate that we're growing huge here i appreciate y'all joining the divine squad absolutely love it here's your first card of your outcome Bam, two swords. So it's up to you, right? So now this is an, a decision with no external forces, meaning you're making a blind decision using your logic, okay? And we're gonna see what you decide. Mm. You're gonna decide something and it's gonna be either you stay or you go. You do this or you're not. Well, you decide to stand in your truth. We got the, the King of Swords here. Fantastic. So you know what you want. You know what you're after. Or I should say, you know who you're after. <laughs> and so, yeah, you're standing in your truth, making a decision, right? You're going to make this decision. I mean, you might feel a little, like, cold, like, mm, closed off. Right? You're just like blocking your emotions and just using your mind, right? You're blocking your emotions and using your mind. So you're going off straight logic because you've had enough of your feelings here to almost get you trapped into um, self-sabotaging this slow and steady pace of, you know, wanting to present this offer to this, this King of Pentacles person. And so, um, yeah, you're, you're, you're going to hold in your truth. You're going to be a little... I wouldn't say standoffish, but, you know, the king is married to the queen of swords and she don't take no shit. She cuts shit off real quick. And this is kind of where you're at, too, with the king of swords. So it's like you're cutting off your emotions because you knew that could really sabotage yourself. And that's why you have this nine of swords here. That's the anxiety. That's the worry. That's all that shit that you are deciding to cut off and eliminating that and just still displaying this patience of you making things the way that you need to to make it work for how you see it going to work which is right here 
Okay, so basically you're you're crossing your T's, you're dotting your I's, you know, you're getting every little detail ready in your mind and in your motions to go ahead and execute this decision. How you like that shit? <laughs> that has been your reading, my friends. I really hope you appreciate it coming out here. I thank you for coming out here so early. Yeah, this is barely six now. So anyways, I hope you have a great day today. Go out in the world. Do something, do something nice with somebody. Do something nice for yourself. But don't forget, patience is a virtue, my friends. Okay, it really is. With that being said, have a great day. Peace and prayer.